Hello everyone, and welcome back. I'm Ray. So coming out of Nigeria, over 300 schoolboys have been missing after gunmen raided a secondary school and kidnapped them, sparking fears of another mass kidnapping that has happened in Nigeria before. Hundreds of children fled to the woods after attackers who are mainly using motorbikes stormed a boarding school on Friday the 11th in a town called Kankara in Kasina State within Nigeria. Uh, this town, to be specific, has been plagued by bandits over the time who usually abduct people and ask them for ransoms. Hundreds of gunmen came to this community and surrounded the school and opened fire and kidnapped students. The school had more than 800 boys, they were only boys' school. Hundreds of them were still able to escape and another hundred, they say over 300, were captured and taken into the woods, you know, by these gunmen. So initially, the authorities suspected uh, the attack or the kidnap to be done by bandits who are very common within this region. But Boko Haram, which is a terrorist organization within Nigeria and the neighboring countries, came and claimed responsibility of having abducted and kidnapped these students. Boko Haram leader, known as Abaka Shekau, released an audio message in which he said that militants stormed the school in the town of Kankara to discourage Western education. He says he is against that. He said that what happened with the school is meant to promote Islam and discourage an Islamic practices. Boko Haram is a jihadist terrorist organization based in northeastern Nigeria. They also work in neighboring countries like Niger, Chad, and northern Cameroon. And they have done horrible things over the time. They are most remembered for when they kidnapped 270 girls in 2014. Schools have been closed across the state, suspending the education of thousands of students as security forces search for the missing boys within the forests. Uh, one of the teenagers who escaped the attack said that when the attackers came, they split them into groups, you know, different groups, and made them take uh, different directions within the forest. He managed to flee uh, with a fellow classmate as kidnappers seemed to be distracted and then he later ran into a pair of a good Samaritan, just ran into a good Samaritan who gave him a ride who had a motorbike and then he was able to drive him back to Kankara town. So when Boko Haram abducted girls in 2014, they attacked a Christian school which had a very g many girls. Uh, they kidnapped over 270 girls and they took them into the forest. So they forced many of them to convert to Islam. They also told many of them to marry the fighters, of course, uh, by force. And the Boko Haram leader, known as Shekau, has made a statement before that a girl as young as nine years old is suitable for marriage, you can imagine. So over the years, uh, many of them have been rescued. But it is said that some of them were unfortunately not rescued until today. And they believe that at least 112 of them have been missing until now. But the latest coming out of Nigeria, as, as per yesterday, on a Thursday, the governor of Kasina State said that more than 300 boys, or at least 300 of them that had been kidnapped by Boko Haram, have been rescued. So I'm going to quote his words. He says, at the moment... At 344 of the students have been handed over to our security agents. I think we have recovered most, if not all of them, said Aminu Masari, uh, that's his name. By tomorrow, we get them medically examined and then arrangements made to hand them over to their families. But this statement did not confirm if all the boys had been completely rescued or if one or two or more were still missing, you know. But the governor added that the government will be working with the police and private security organizations to safeguard schools and stop such events from happening. And the president of Nigeria, known as Muhammad Buhari, uh, welcomed the release of the students and through his Twitter spokesperson, he said that uh, the safe return is a big relief to the families, to the country and to the international community as well. So after being medically examined, other uh, students are meant to meet their president, Muhammad Buhari, and then later be united with their families. So the funny part about this story is that the day when these schoolboys were kidnapped, which was 11th of December, on that same day, Muhammad Buhari, who is the president of Nigeria, happened to be visiting Kasina State. But in addition to this, Kasina State is also the same state where he is born. It's like his hometown. 
or his home state where he originally comes from. So people or parents of these kidnapped kids expected the president to at least pass them by them and say hello to them, you know, and try to console them and all that since he was already visiting. But unfortunately, the president rather chose to go and look at his cows, you know. So he spent time visiting his cows and completely ignored the parents and the families of these boys. It is good that the boys have been rescued, but Boko Haram seems to be a very, very huge problem. Not even seeming, but it is a huge problem in Nigeria and the neighboring countries. Not too long ago, they slaughtered over 110 farmers. They came and killed them. The Nigerian government has made a statement before that it has defeated Boko Haram, that is in 2015. But Boko Haram is still, you know, doing horrible things to Nigeria and the neighboring countries as well. But good enough, there is a bit of positivity in this story and we wish the boys well. But... Um, yeah, it's up to the Nigerian government, you know, to deal with this problem. Uh, share your thoughts in the comment section and let us know what you think. Check out my YouTube channel, Atrey Kembawazi, my YouTube channel, Instagram, also Atrey Kembawazi, and see you on the next story. Bye.